Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Airships Conquer the Skies where in the previous episode we started a new conquest campaign and managed to take a fair few towns and indeed cities. We've got the generic and main hometown in the centre here followed by one, two, three of the little hamlets around the outside and then over on the right we managed to take over this entire empire and then work our way down to Nodden here as well. We also designed the Bumblebee which has worked out very well so far but obviously we've not really encountered anything of great note other than something on the ground so we'll have to have a look at that we also built one of the sparrowhawks actually we've got two sparrowhawks in total there in this episode we want to continue on and obviously try and take over certain territories but also we want to again build some more stuff but obviously that'll be based on the technology that we have or rather haven't got because there's a lot of stuff i haven't unlocked here we're currently researching the telescopes which allow us eventually to build if we go over to our main city here eventually build a herringle which requires a telescope and steel armor i also want to eventually build something that's on the ground a ground vessel but we shall see either way, i'm going to set up another sparrowhawk here and set that actually i don't think i do want to build that. i think build ship i want to build a, a bumblebee because these are quite good and i'm going to put two in the queue there and start building them over here in generic and i guess i could build them over on the oh has the game crashed Nope, there we go. Uh, yeah, we could also build them over on the right-hand side if we really wanted to, but it takes uh, pretty much no time at all to build here. I'm also very tempted to get rid of this. And Oh, hang on. We have something coming in. This is uh, two weeks and five days. An enemy fleet is coming in. So what I'll do is move our Sparrowhawk over there very quickly and see how fast we are to react. In fact, you know what I might do? I might intercept that instead. I'm going to intercept their fleet. So this is uh, their forces, and they have... Looks to be two vessels and they have one two three cannons i don't think that there may be great are the grape shot or standard cannons i think standard cannons followed by a rifle down there so let's go ahead and we will start to board so i'm going to go right down here and you can see i'm able to maneuver very very quickly towards them and then i will initiate a boarding action and then they will jump on board and um i'm pretty confident that uh that thing has now been taken over. I'll move to this one. Oh, we've got one person who has just fallen to their death. In fact, there's a little gravestone there maybe where where they landed. Okay, fair enough. And um, I want to then board that one. And nope, it doesn't look like I'll be able to do that. But I have managed to take control of this other one, which means I will be able to give it some more commands. I'm going to ram this down like that and just push it into this suspendium rock. And this other one, once I... Once I can give it commands, I will obviously tell it to move up and round. And looks like we have managed to take out all of <laughs> all of this uh, this vessel's uh, flight power because, well, they have lost the suspendium chamber on the back. So yeah, they have actually got cannons there. What I'm doing is just moving our sparrowhawk here and then just landing it there. I'll just. Uh, ground it and then the other vessel that we've just captured i'm going to bring down and use those cannons to destroy this thing that thing is definitely destroyed it will not be able to function after this but i do want to take that out these things in themselves are actually quite decent by the look of it they've got decent firepower for their size i mean three cannons and a rifle is okay but obviously you've seen there that boarding is well not so great what i'm going to do is probably bring these down i'm gonna probably land this actually i'll say land the vessel ground the ship and it will land on top of this arm but it lands safely there and then once we give it orders i'll i'll give an order to attack this although it may be destroyed before anything else and also there's a lot of crew on the back of that one although yeah by the time this has the explosions and then the secondary i'm pretty confident we've won already yep yeah, there we go there's a there's a win so i didn't have to initiate any other boarding orders and job done we've managed to take that there so that is a victory i don't know how many points that was but we shall see we have captured one of them and we will head to our main city to well basically to oh move there yeah are they still coming in yeah, they're still... No, there's not still coming in. It's just uh, the way things were set up. Okay, move to there. This thing will move back. I want to see the points value of it. It's it's 554. That's how much that thing costs. Okay, fair enough. I'm going to... <sighs> it says rearmed. I'm I'm going to sell it. I'm going to... Sc oh, actually, uh, scrapping it is pretty poor, actually. Do I really want to scrap it? I'm also tempted to scrap our other vessel this gallant 
sadly, or more crew quarters are needed. It's yeah, it's under crewed. I'm going to scrap it. It's not just for the money that I'm going to get. It's the upkeep, and I really don't want to be dealing with it. I really don't want to be dealing with that. Anyway, how are we doing for our building here? Building is fine. We have a bumblebee. Let me go ahead and move that over to Nodden because I'm trying to. Go, I'm going to try and take out the cultists. Actually, that is my overall goal. And good grief, you can see just how slow that vessel is. Research, I'm going to go for Empire of Science. It is going to cost us a lot of money, but it also massively increases the rate in which we research, research technology, which I think is a, a worthy thing. I'm going to also send a spy over to the left-hand side and send a spy to, well, both of these on the left-hand side, because I want to see what they've got. At the moment, I have the bumblebees on the bottom right at Nodden. I have a sparrowhawk at Tixie. I'm probably going to probably keep that where it is, actually, because they're so fast they can react to most things that are going to be coming in. In fact, uh, oh, authorities uh, catch a foreign agent attempting to set fire to the Grist Fastness. Let's have a quick look at that. And yeah, they've been trying to set fire to that. I wonder who that is. Interesting. Uh, let me repair that. And I'm also going to check out this city here. And yeah, we've got one of all these structures. We've seen those before, but it's the fleet that I'm worried about. Let's view that. And yeah, it's those things. So they haven't actually built any more than what they had previously. I will recall the spy because the money is... I don't really want to be paying that upkeep. There's our telescope and our research, so I will select some research. I'm tempted to go for the armor, so that would be... That would be... Let's have a quick look. Down here, heavy wooden armor, massive stone walls, and then we're going over to steel armor there. Yeah, okay. So, oh, there's medium steel armor. What do we need? Let's go to... Well, we'll send for a start that over there and then we'll say in here build ship and we want a herring gold we require steel armor so research and we'll try out the one that is medium steel armor and heavy wood armor. i think it'll just be metallurgy for steel armor four months in order for that to be completed and let's see how we get on with that one i'm going to move this i'm going to move both of the sparrowhawks over because I want to use them to, I want to take over this main city. And then basically we have all of the, the northern part of this. Because of the, because of the inherent danger of doing that, I will build another Sparrowhawk over at Tixie. You can see the speed of these coming over. Actually what I'll do is I'll move them there because they're a bit closer to the main city. And then as soon as we can. Why is one faster than the other? Oh, because it's got that on board, right? Okay. I was wondering why one was a little bit, a little bit slower, because it goes at the speed of the slowest vessel. And here's going to be our main fight. As you can see, we've got lots of stuff to take out. Now, I'm going to do the standard thing of working our way back. Uh, that's probably the way to do it. So I'm going to tell the guys to move to there and here we go because of the length of these vessels this sort of layout is quite a problem for for us um, I'm actually going to move that one down to there and this one will move down to there and obviously I will initiate boarding actions on the rear and this one I will initiate boarding actions on there and it shouldn't take too long for them to crack on with the boarding although it really depends on what we capture. That one's being captured straight away, which is good. I'm then going to bring them back, so we're not going to be taking loads of damage. I'm obviously going to initiate some uh, other boarding actions at the back here. So this is the one at the back. I'll tell it to board the ship there. This one is now being captured. And basically, we're now working our way forward. And I'll bring these vessels down. I'll ground the ships where we need and keep initiating these borders here. And we'll go for that one there. Obviously, the advantage is... That the damage that we're causing as well uh, with with our shots from here is really good so yeah we've managed to capture the rear three including a large one and we're gonna say once again initiate some boarding and all the guys that you can see are streaming out here of that hole that's been made going on the ground and then walking around this big one has now been captured once again so we'll initiate some more boarding so that is pretty good that one's actually not under command which is interesting so yeah, that's one of the problems that you can experience. If stuff's not under command, um, can you then 
tell the borders to move. Historically not, but I don't know if that's been changed. Either way, these are <laughs> really, really good. These were originally, the Sparrowhawks were originally based on a previous design Originally called the Reacting Ton, it was very fast, very high level, and it had some borders on it. I actually think it had grappling um, troops, if I remember rightly, although it's been quite some time since we made that original design, and it was very, very useful. It could pretty much just intercept anything and board anything and take it over. The advantage was, uh, sorry, the disadvantage is that it was actually quite armoured, and I say quite armoured, it, you know, it had a medium medium armor and like medium weaponry so it was not really cheap whereas the one after that we made was the denver which was really good but it was, it was actually about half the size of this it only had um a so it had the smaller engine the two by two engines the standard suspendium chamber rather than the large one and only two of the two of the um quarters so we've got twice as much here but it allows us to do things like this which is just turn up and take everything over and speaking of takeover we'll do a gentle takeover on that one and uh yeah that's that's all right we're going to move back over just to rearm our our vessel there you can see there now two ships are rearmed then we'll move back and then they've still got stuff up the top here but that i'm a bit concerned with because those i don't think i'll be able to board and also, this vessel here, I should probably actually use it in anger, shouldn't I? Uh, well, actually, let's refit it. What's it got? It's got a cockpit, accessible struts, and then... Oh, it's got grenades. So it's actually... Yeah, it's just like a little... Some bombardment vessel. Hmm. I... I'm going to scrap it. It's it's not being used in all of this fight, and yeah, it's just something we randomly started with. Okay, we do have a Sparrowhawk there. I'm going to build ship and... I'm tempted just to wait a little bit, actually, until we have enough cash, because the more we build... Oh, we have an incoming fleet, and where is that going? It's coming down here, is it? Right, okay. Standard procedure is to move one of our fast reaction ships. I think I actually will build another Sparrowhawk. So we have four Sparrowhawks now, and we'll. you can see how quick we can get there. That's the advantages of these things. And then, you know what? I'm actually just going to intercept. I'm just going to intercept them and see what they've got. So there I've got... Oh, that's a big vessel. It's the Upholder. I can tell it's called the Upholder because it's got four nameplates. It's a four nameplate ship, that thing. Um, it seems to have these big dragon wings and lots of lighting and electrical bits on the back there. That looks really cool. In terms of weapons, I have no idea what it's armed with. For all I know, it's got big honking space cannons. It's got loudspeakers, so yeah, it can play... Uh... <laughs> uh, Valkyries or something. I, I have no idea what it's got there. Weapon there, weapon there. And what are these? I have no idea. Um, I think they're just rifles. Oh, these are just rifles, but they've put that there just for um, just for the look. Okay, I'll tell it to board the ship so the crew actually get out. And the reason I'm doing that first is because I didn't know where that was going to move. And I'm just going to charge forward and basically just, um, yeah, do that. And, um, oh, there's some people that have uh, sadly fallen to the death. I will do a cheeky bit of ramming like that because that allows me to then keep going down and yeah there we go just push it down in fact what i'll do is just push it down i don't think i have the power to i don't think i have the power to f change this thing's course let's see if i say push down to there will I, can i change its course no it has got more suspendium or more lift than me and speaking of lift my suspendium crystal is arcing and sparking i think i've taken some damage there yeah you can see that we've taken some damage and there's bits coming off it but we are boarding this and we're doing it very successfully. Even though this is quite a... What would be the best term? It's very compartmental. So, you know, our ship, you can get everywhere very easily because of everything's next to each other. This one, if you get there and you want to be up there, you have to go all the way back and round and it's it's a bit of a problem. Um, boarding is, is working. I'm going to ground the ship and... I think we are dictating the direction of travel there. It seems to have basically stopped. If I just say ram to there. Yeah, we are definitely dictating the direction of travel here. Still going to ground the ship. Because every time I do this, it's smashing it on trees. But I don't think... I don't think we've managed to successfully board that, you know. No, we haven't. They've still got crew. So this must have a lot of crew. In fact, there. 
See that? It's very difficult to see because of how bright the red lights are, but that there is an armory. Hmm. So I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced we can win this fight. In fact, if I flee that, we're probably going to lose because we've got no... We're out of call. A munitions fight. I'm going to flee. That's a defeat. I have to go back there. So we'll quickly go back. We'll stop there. I'll repair. And this is going to be a fight here that they'll most likely win. Start the fight. That's this ship here that obviously just caused damage to the Upholder. And what's this? Distracting light from the east means shot fired from left to right are less accurate. So that's our benefit there. This thing, even though I've repaired it, we're not... Have I repaired it? I must have repaired it because I'm not in control of it. Either way, there's nothing I can do. It's just max speed out and wait for the inevitable. I mean, we could look out and hit some of the suspendium dust tanks and it fall out the sky, but it's still got a lot more, a lot more weapons than we do. It's got the same type of weapons, just rifles, but we've got two. And also, I think that's pointing backwards. <laughs> I'll have to have a look at the design. If it's still alive after this, you understand. I don't think it will be. I think this will be destroyed by the time we get back. But, we're still going to keep fighting. They are taking some damage, not much. We're taking a lot more. And we've still only got the two rifles. No, three rifles! There's three on the front and three on the back, so I think it doesn't really matter which orientation it is. Oh, hang on! Right, they've lost that suspendium chamber on the back. We actually damaged that previously. Oh, we're on fire. Yeah, we damaged that previously. So, it's still able to fly. Oh, yeah, the rifles are... Yeah, the rifles are gone. Yep, that's a win for them. So they're going to take over that piece of territory. Hmm, that's a defeat. <sighs> Don't like that. That's not something we like. In that case, then, let me deselect all of these, all the bumblebees. In fact, you know what? This might be a bumblebee problem. So I'm slowly heading towards this guy. <laughs> With all of the bumblebees... And, oh, Imperial Cannon and Medium Steel Armour is now researched. Let me just pause it for a moment and go to Build Ship. And the Herring Gull we can build. We just need the cash. Okay, what I'm going to do then is go to Research. And I want to get Suspendium Weapons. Ah, oh, but enough for, oh, you need, you need tracks and then machining, then Suspendium Weapons. You know what? I wanted to build something on the ground anyway, so... That's fine. All right, let's see. Let's see how good the bumblebees are against that thing. Starting the fight, obviously having to make sure that we are still in a position to fire at it. Target's not available, we'll have to make sure we keep just above it. Luckily our service ceiling is not too bad. Oh, good grief! It's 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 not having a good time of it. Time of it, is it? In fact, the bumblebees are proving to be deadly. <laughs> that is unbelievable. I knew these things were good, but on mass, they're a monster. The shots that we're able to put into them. I'm gonna put them. I'm just gonna move. Tell them to move past because well, there's no point in getting shot. Why should I take the hit? That is unreal. These ballistas are some of my favourite weapons. I mean, it's still not gonna. It's still. Not, I don't think they're gonna beat the suspendium ray and the torpedo for coolness, but pound for pound, you know cost price you can't go far wrong with these things considering the level of technology and then they just turn around and then there's a huge volley and then parts of the ship just disappear <laughs> that's what you get for assaulting my stuff gentle takeover we'll go back sparrowhawk will take elsewhere just so we're not having them group up 
And I want to take out these cultists. Oh, got another incoming attack here. So I'll have to move this Sparrowhawk. I'll just intercept it. I'll just intercept it. You can see the speed of it is such that we have the option to do this. Um, we'll have a cheeky repair. Actually, we don't need any repairs, but we are rearmed. Let's attack the cultists. And... We can invade up the top here as well. Just realise that, that ship, there's no ships over there. So, start the fight. Get the Sparrowhawks. Move them along to there. Going to move along. And then we're going to send them down. Like that. Hopefully don't clip that bit of land. No, actually what they did was clip the clip the edge of the map. <laughs> fine, fine. Um, oh, it's actually lost... This is because of where I hit it. It's lost the suspendium. Uh, sorry, it's lost the. <laughs> it's lost all of the engines. So I'm gonna have to just land it. It's not a problem. The guys will just go on the ground and they'll board it that way. You see. Get off the ship. Charge. 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 This is not built. Oh, these are not built rather for precision boarding. It's just. A sh it's just the sheer amount of force that you can bring. Just like, get people aboard that vessel now. That's all it is. That's all it is. And then we'll board that one and that's captured. That, that, I don't even, I think one person turned up and they just put their hands up. And there's a, a gentle takeover and we'll move that back over to to there. So, yeah. Hang on. Where, where are you going? Intercept that, please. Right. Oh! Interesting. Worrying, but interesting. So they have, as you can see there, melee ships. Ships that I cannot do anything about because they are... Well. They are too low. Hang on, I've got some borders on it and then I'm going to move up. Okay, I've got borders on board. If I can take one, hopefully... Yep, we've captured it. We've managed to capture this ship. And now they're going to attack their own ship, I think. Yep, they're attacking their own ship. Let's see if we can take over both. Oh, there's loads of people just jumped and fell to their deaths. Um, just going to get this other out of the way. And... Ah! Captured both. Well, I'm fairly convinced that this guy's not going to like his life in a moment. Why Why can I not attack that? Attack that. There we go. Dig away at it. There you go. <laughs> Just chiseling away at the bottom there. What's quite fun is that this other one that I've captured is lighter because it's lost parts. So it can. it's got a higher service ceiling and because of that <laughs> we can just chew into it. I'm sure there's been new effects added to that saw. And you can see just how effective that is because they're all dead. I'm very, very tempted to keep hold of that because those those are really cool. Um, hang on, where's our... Do we lose? Where's our... Uh, I think we might have lost our other ship. Sparrowhawk, move there. Actually, move there. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, his versus the cultists. There's the cultists' base. I'm not seeing at the moment any. What? Oh, actually, I want to stay up here. I'm not seeing anything funky. But the cultists, I don't know what they're going to call in. They have the same firepower on the front as they do on the. On the left of the zoo, on the right, the only thing is they've got that turret. So, quite frankly, I could probably just sit up here on aimed fire. I'll move them a little bit closer. They're all on aimed fire. Let's move them down a bit. You can see that they have one, two, three, four, five cannons, three rifles, and this turret at the top. And we're slowly moving towards it. I don't I don't really want to get too close to a cultist 
temple. Quite frankly, I'm 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 fine for that. It's not a place you'd want to take the kids on the weekend, is it? Hmm. Looks like they've taken some damage to the turret. They've lost most of the armor on that. And also, we're chipping through, and we can see their quarters now. Got to fire in one of the cannons. And managed to put it out, but damage is good. Go to outside view. Forward. The forward unit has taken damage. And some suspendium has been lost. I'm going to move further down to here and rest just above the suspendium rock, just in case something goes horribly wrong. Looks like we've got some explosions there. Lots of fire, lots of secondary and. Yeah, a lot of secondary explosions, that's good. And I don't think they have access to a lot of this stuff up here now. Oh, well, they certainly don't have access to the cannons because the cannons are no longer there. Okay, fine. That is... That's good. Yeah, all right. Yeah, good, good. Today's beverage green tea, by the way. I think that's... I think that's the coolest temple gone. <laughs> I'm not too sure what they're going to be worshipping now, but not much, I'm guessing. I'm tempted to put these on rapid fire, but what's the point? That's a win. There you go. And let's see what we get off the cultists. I'm hoping just cash. Or the ability to call in some sort of ancient evil, that would be cool. Leaders of the cult are summarily executed and their followers are sent for religious re-education. Their towers are raised to the ground. Some of the cult's ritual objects turn out to be made of pure gold. They are turned into coins and added to the Empire's treasury. Four grand. Brilliant. Very happy with that. Very happy indeed. I don't want to take the turtle doves out because they're not an aggressive thing. I'm going to scrap these melee units. I know they're really cool, cool these vanguards, but I'm going to scrap them nonetheless. Um, and we will repair the Sparrowhawk on the left there. And what we'll do is also build ship, and we're going to build the Herring Gull. So we'll start doing that. And, oh, this guy's managed to take out everyone on the right-hand side. Interesting. We may have to start making some inroads then into this guy's territory. I will put a spy over there. Similarly, I'm going to put a spy here, but we shall see. We have got tracks on the way. I I wasn't I was going to build something. Let's go to build ship. Uh, sorry, to design ship, and see what sort of thing we want to design. Well, again, it's going to be based around like certain weapons. That's generally how I work on it. We've got things like the Imperial Cannon and Aerial Charges. None of them really appeal to me. Um, kinetic Bomb, no. Gr grenades. I mean, the thing about grenades is you can stack them like that, which I always found interesting. I always found interesting, but there's no point really having a big stack of grenades because we've now got the proper bomber. So I think, yeah, we most likely won't be just building something here. Um, build land ship. Sorry, design land ship. What can we got? What have we got for? Oh, do we? Do we not have? No, we actually don't have any sort of motive power whatsoever. <laughs> so we need to make land ships first, and then we can uh, build that way. The spy is set up. Following information is available. The income producers, shipyards, in terms of how quickly you can build ships. Find the level of the secret police, which determines how susceptible to bribery and sabotage. Yeah, well, we've been doing that. Let's... Oh, there's the saw blades and tracks. We're going to go to View City, and they have not much, but they're building a melee vessel. The Vanguard. We've also got a fleet coming in here, and where is it turning up? It's turning up there, is it? Right, I will tell the Sparrowhawk to intercept. And if they're doing that, I'm now going to start to invade them, because, quite frankly, I wasn't, I wasn't going to, but if they're making moves towards us we're going to see what they're all about and oh they have some vessels which i may or may not be able to defeat so actually we've seen these in the past i will initiate a boarding action to that one in front of us and hang on that one there yep and the guys are gonna get out and i'll move why why, why is it moving backwards i've not told it to move backwards oh really 
really, of all the possible things that could have happened, they've taken out the engines on the back. Okay, fine. Well, I've still managed to take over this vessel, so we still have our borders and we have more cannons now. So, there we are. We obviously still need to try and manoeuvre as best we can. I will tell these guys to board ship that one because I need them outside ready to go. Oh, actually what's happened... <laughs> Right, what's actually happened there is the guys left the command so I couldn't order it to move around. But, stupidly, this vessel then moved right underneath the thing that I told, that told them to board. So, that's an advantage. Anyway, let's move over here. And I think that is the Sparrowhawk falling out the sky. Yeah, the Sparrowhawk has lost its suspendium chamber and the... Uh, the way it can move. Okay, that's all kinds of bad. Cancel. Um, I guess I could tell these guys to board. But what's the point? I might as well use, just keep using these weapons. Hmm. Interesting. It's just going to sit behind me, isn't it? Yeah, it's not silly. Board. I'll tell the board that. They can't board it. There's no way they can get to it. They don't have any grappling hooks or they don't have the suspendium backpacks. So I might as well flee, exit the combat, and we'll head back to there. But it means that this guy... Oh no, he's actually... He's going back. We have intercepted them, and they're now heading back. Okay, so we will sell, uh, scrap that unity, but we will build another Sparrowhawk, because obviously we have lost one to build two but we're going to keep one but i think we will leave it there for now that's been a bit of airships i didn't build any uh, new designs but we've seen many other designs a lot of which we don't have the technology for but we have taken territory and we've managed to gain some stuff so that's okay and research is good as well we should also sooner rather than later have a herring gull and we can use that um we can use that at some point in the future. So we're unlocking deck guns and then the suspendium projection, which gives us suspendium weapons. That will then give us the suspendium rays. And I wanted to make a suspendium ray tank. The problem is that at the moment, because of our limited technology, well, we can only just build something that's on the ground. But anything else that would fly, I don't really see the point in making. So, for example, design ships and weapons. We've got limited weapons. Oh, we now have the saw blade, actually. So I'm tempted to use something like that. But we didn't need any of the others. We still, I mean, we still haven't just got a standard ship with cannons, have we? But then, I mean, do we really want that when we've got the ballister, which seems to be causing just as much damage? I don't know. If you have any suggestions for weapons, uh, sorry, uh, designs based around certain weapons or certain roles for ships, and by all means, let us know. And as always, we'll go from there. Next episode, we will crack on, see how this assault and this assault sort of pans out, and overall, how the campaign goes. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed the episode and the series thus far. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.